many ways to approach the question of the relationships between science, faith, and theology. One of them is to try to figure out what is science, what is faith, what is theology, and how we can relate them. But that's a very difficult question because there are three big concepts, three really complex notions. And as I'm sure you all know, there are many sciences and uh, there are many faiths, even within Christianity. So I prefer to approach the question of the relationship um, in what is a historical way. How was science and faith, uh, how is science related to faith, for example, in the 17th century? What were the relationships of science and theology during the 19th century? What are the relationships in Brazil today between science and faith? I come from Argentina, so what are the relationships in Argentina? And once we see all those different kinds of relationships, then I think we can move to a larger narrative that might explain uh, all those different kinds of relationships. Of course, those relationships are not simply of harmony or conflict. We have suppositions, we have uh, choice, um, we have multiple layers of relationships. Uh, with which we'll have to deal to find how science, faith, and theology relate at the different eras and at different places. So I think the Philosophy Academy should get a little bit more involved in the current debate between science and theology. After all, philosophy philosophical thinking is the bridge between our, our knowledge of the natural world and our understanding of the divine. We need notions such as causality, information, um, person. What is a person? Uh, these are notions which are involved in the discourses of the sciences and in the theological discourse, but we need a, a philosophical understanding of them as to be able to bridge them and to see how each of those theology and the sciences use them. Um, there, are, the, there is some involvement today, uh, in particular in the English uh, and American Academy, but I think Latin America could get uh, a bit more uh, of it. Uh, what is scientific knowledge? How do we know what we know by faith? What does it mean to have faith? All these questions, I think, are very important, and they are philosophical questions that need a philosophical answer to understand the relationship between science and theology. So I have faced a few challenges when studying, and when I study still, uh, science, faith, and theology and their relationships. Because these are three very large areas of study. So that's the first thing. How do you get to know all what the science say? And how do you get to know all the theological notions uh, which relate to all that scientific content. Um, so you have to choose, basically. You have to decide, I had to decide to do one particular uh, theological notion re in relation to one particular notion in the sciences. So that's, that's a big challenge. Um, so I don't know anything about neuroscience, for example. So that I don't work with. 
Um, another challenge is facing the public. In general, you get huge reactions uh, when you say that you study science and religion, science and theology. And those reactions vary from the, what do they have to do, to the, but Galileo was killed, or they are clearly in conflict. What you do is nonsense. So I have to face those. And slowly, carefully, with patience, explain why I do what I do, uh, and why I understand that those statements might not be uh, well-founded, supported, uh, and why do I believe they could be otherwise? Um, of course, another challenge is continuing, continuously questioning my faith and understand it better. Um, it's very easy just to sit with the creed, the Nicene Creed, and accept it, and that's it. But I think a true Christian needs to study the texts, the sacred texts, the fathers, and, and understand the true depth of uh, the theological doctrines. Um, so it's challenging, but it's fruitful, uh, and one gets a true enjoyment, at least I do, uh, in doing so.